often where they want to try to take shots downfield off that sudden change. Ute in motion. Instead, it's Todd Davis Price going nowhere. Now it gets tougher. It is now time for conference play. Play action here. And he slides one up. Lining up to play in a phone booth. And I'm not sure that Johnson got. And he's got the first down on the duck. Mississippi State rushes four. Johnson out of the pocket, and he finds a check down. As the freshman Brian Thomas pushing one. They'll run it with Todd Davis Price. He's got the first down. And now he will back up. Might have been changing the play. And there's the wide receiver screen to Boutte. Bottled up. Picked up her screen. Johnson on second and nine. Hit as he throws the right guard as well. This is a banged up offensive line. Watch Boutte from the right side of the screen. He's actually going to have him. Here comes the blitz. Johnson shirts off a sack, slides one in. What a fantastic play by Max Johnson. All up pressure, left side. Unblocked defender. Hold the ball tight to your chest. Climb. Corey Kiner is the true freshman at tailback, and he takes the handoff from Max Johnson. Nowhere to go. He just showed up a little bit against his offensive line. Only a three-man rush, and Johnson moves the pocket. Throws into a tight window right at the concept progression. Great throw. And off to another freshman, Armani. Everyone needs as, as much as we don't want to to understand that. Again, he moves the pocket. Wide open is Boutte, but he figure out who's the who's the blitzer, who's the dropper. And it's a four-man rush. Again, Johnson floats out of the pocket, and that ball's dropped. This is that pressure package, zone blitz. Watch Brule number three drop out right underneath the inbreaker. He wants it there. No, it's not there. Now Max Ball equals another takeaway. So first interception for Flot. Here's Ty Davis for SEC. 120th in FBS so far, but just on cue. <laughs> Ty Davis Price. Beautiful job by the tight end, Cole Taylor. Starts on the right side of formation, fold back underneath, lead into that linebacker. Let's say the offensive line, two things. Go strike and then cut it loose. Cut it loose as an offensive line unit. That's Johnson to throw. Has all day. Backing up, and now hoists one to the sideline. Great story time so far between Peyton and Eli and the guests they brought on. Max Johnson lobs one down the sideline. Boots, boots in. It's a beautiful job by Forbes. LSU puts Boutte to try to get that matchup in the slot. There's no pick. He plays over to. I just like the fact they've chosen sports I could compete in because there are many that I would not be able to compete in with that family. And now, well, well, you don't want your tailback, Davis Price, who's 220 pounds, blocking Charlton, who's 265. Right side of our. Quick hitter to Taylor and then trust the progression of the play. They clock down to two, down to one. They get the snap off. The pocket starts to collapse. Long wobbly throw, and it's wide open to Brian Thomas. On for LSU is the protection held up in front of Max Johnson. I love the route, though. Watch by Thomas. Push, 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 push. Now set it down. Get that corner to get out of his back pedal. Really one of those pitch and catches, quarterback to receiver. Another first down throw. And he lobbed down the sideline. And that one is intercepted. Picked off by Emmanuel Forbes. The active pickoff leader, Emmanuel Forbes. He gets it back for the Dogs. Just an outstanding job of track. Corey Geiner to the left of Max Johnson in the shotgun. He'll take the handoff, and he will gain. Working, and it's creating a lot of second and third longs, and that's just a lot of stress on this offensive line. He'll try and run it again. This time a broken tackle by Geiner. And he... Only a three-man rush on third down. Max Johnson able to complete for the first. You know, he's got this little short three or four yard in route. Big thing for him. You got to go underneath defenders. Those dropped out defenders. as well. Johnson looking to the sideline. Bullets one. In Mississippi State brings a blitz. Under pressure. It gets home. Flag down. Watch Odom on the stunt. Spins inside, the guard and the back are both on the wrong person. Yeah. Personal foul, shot block, offense. That penalty is declined. He's going to the play, third down. And you really got to work in between the hashes if you're Max Johnson.
Johnson, this time good protection, long throw, coming back to make the catch. Is And even Ali Gay banged up in practice on Thursday. He's playing, but he's not himself. And they are going to run it on first down. But he said offensively, just comes down to protecting our quarterback. Great play action fake. And a slot. Rayshon Boutte, he's in the open field. He's going to go the distance. Pios, ball fake goes in. Safety respects the run. I'm the filler in it. Boutte replace him. Great job by Max Johnson. Will short circuit. Armani Goodwin starts this drive. LSU. We talked about going into the game for LSU defensively. They've done it. Marie Kiner bounces out of the pile, uses a stiff arm, and boy, this was a violent collision once Kiner jumps when he got to the sideline. It's a great job by Kiner getting away from stuff. Watch 19 dunk. First down, though. Johnson off play action, finds Armani Goodwin in the right flat. Three yards rushing today, and they're only averaging about 86 yards per game. Off his back foot, long throw. One of the things that I love about Max Johnson's game, watch just the subtlety in the movement. Ball starts on the hash, feels pressure, just move. See that three or four? Love that aspect of his game. And off to Davis Price. Here comes the rush. Johnson beats it to the outside. Jeray Jenkins. Only a three-man rush on third and seven. Johnson extending the play. He may see an alley to run. He pays the... This feels like a pivotal moment for this Mississippi State defense. Max Johnson, well protected. He's going to go deep, and it's a blown coverage. Trey Palmer walks it. The corner has to play outside. You're going to get number 12 in the middle of the field, right at the bottom of the M. Sean Preston's going to drop back. You're going to get a big post. He watches the crosser, Deion Smith, come. That leverage that you create by your formation for Trey Palmer. Touchdown, LSU. Watch 12 in the middle of the field. His vision becomes on Deion Smith, and that's an easy throw. Max Johnson had in the third quarter. Toss to Goodwin. Boy, this is where you would lose him. Here with Dan Orlovsky and Chris Button. Play action. Screen. Boutte gets a block. Very close to a first. They'll give it to Davis Price. Very close to a first. Well, they can ask us for suggestions, I'm sure. Davis Price again to the short side of the field. And after the injury timeout, second down and eight. Max Johnson, well protected over the middle side. Linebackers at least showing that they might bring pressure, but they back out, rush only four. Johnson, long wobbly throw to the sideline in their last possession, and now they're about to get the ball back. Early third, early fourth quarter. There's 13 again. LSU the ball back in plus territory when that possession was about to come to an end. Tackle. So LSU gets one of their starting offensive linemen back. Manuel Forbes, top of the screen, you can see. Squaring off with Boutet. Back foot throw. And the crosser is there. It's Cole Taylor. And he's got a clear lane to the end. It's very similar to the touchdown to Boutet before. That's Cole Taylor. You get all out pressure. Cross face with that defender. Max Johnson tripped a little bit. Put your back foot in the ground and get the ball out. Three touchdowns, almost 200 yards for Max Johnson. Up the middle goes Ty Davis Price. As the LSU offensive line to pick you up. Johnson took the play clock down to four before handing it off to Davis Price again. And this time he's going nowhere. Wrapped up. Get the perimeter. I'm, I'm testing the corner at the bottom of the screen. Here comes the blitz. There's the throw. Bobbles. 